What's going on guys? Bengal here coming back at you with another video and today we have some interesting news coming out of the uh, Philadelphia and Seattle areas of course on the east and west coast. Uh, I think very interesting news depending on which way which way you slice it. So first I will say that there are rumors of a potential Richard Sherman trade. However, I think he was most likely cut. I tweeted about this. If you guys are not subscribed already or following my Twitter, definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow my Twitter link in the description. Keep you guys updated on these uh, sort of things before they go live on YouTube. Um, but trying to get these videos out as quickly as possible. I think Richard Sherman has been released. It would save the Seahawks 11 mil in cap to do so. He's going to be a free agent next year, and they would save 11 mil by cutting him and potentially moving on. So that's not the point of this video, though. Michael Bennett has been traded to the Philadelphia Eagles very, very big news. Now, I, I think it's not a stretch to say that he's certainly coming out of his prime. He is 31 years old, uh, I believe. So even though he's playing at a relatively high level, he's moving out of his prime. Still had eight and a half sacks this year. He's 32, and he will be turning 33 next season. Um, but still a solid player, nonetheless, productive. And I think this probably solidifies the Eagles as the scariest defensive line in the NFL. There are a number of others that are very good. When you combine Michael Bennett now with Brandon Graham and an up-and-coming um, uh, Derek Barnett, and you got you know a solid group of defensive linemen. Timmy Jernigan is still on that team. Uh, Benny Logan, I believe, is still on the Eagles. They have a really, really scary group of defensive linemen that were just getting pressure on the quarterback all last season. Now you add Michael Bennett, that's going to be really tough for offensive lines to deal with. So here are the details. Seahawks trade Michael Bennett and a seventh round pick to the Eagles for a fifth round pick and wide receiver Marcus Johnson. So Marcus Johnson um, is not exactly a huge name. Last season, he had five catches for 45 yards. He's six foot one, um, only 23 years old. Of course, went to Texas, um, so ob obligatory hook 'em horns. Uh, but his production has not really been too high at the NFL level. It really hasn't been. Three of his five catches on the season came in Week 17 when they were essentially playing backups. But he has potential at least. So that's a decent option, but a lot of people see this trade and they're like, Michael Bennett's so good. How do you trade so little in order to acquire him? It's only a fifth round pick and a receiver that barely plays. I see your point on that. He also is 32 uh, and the Eagles are still playing, you know, win now. They're playing, all right, we just won the Super Bowl. We have a really young, talented quarterback in Carson Wentz. We're, we're going to continue to better our team right now as much as we can. And when they see a player like Michael Bennett on the trade block, even though he is 32, they're not playing for him to be a franchise player. This is a one, maybe a two-year kind of situation with Michael Bennett where he can still be productive in the NFL uh, and on the Eagles and help out that defensive line and potentially get them to back-to-back uh, -back Super Bowls, which as a New York Giant fan, uh, frightens me quite a bit that they're still going to continue you know, to play at this high level, and they're only getting better. So they're not really going to lose anyone too important. You could say Nick Foles. I don't really think he's too important, and they might not even trade him to begin with. So he did have a great performance in the playoffs. Can't knock him for that. But if they can even trade him for some more picks, get better through the draft, even trade him for a decent player, I mean, this is an Eagles team that's looking very, very scary, and Michael Bennett only contributes to that. Um... So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Shorter video for me, but I'm just saying pretty good trade uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles, obviously. Seahawks are just looking to get rid of dead cap, get rid of a lot of money, uh, and get rid of older players. That's why we could see Richard Sherman be uh, either released or traded uh, by the end of the next couple of days. We'd see Earl Thomas potentially moved, although I doubt very much that that would happen. Camp Chancellor could end up retiring within the next year or two. So the Seahawks are saying, all right, let's double down. We're not winning now. We got to enter rebuild mode. That's what Michael Bennett leaving does. That's what the eventual Richard Sherman leaving does if rumors are true. That's what Sheldon Richardson potentially leaving would do if they choose not to re-sign him, which could not happen. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I feel like it's going to be pretty overwhelming in terms of, you know, the Eagles fleece the Seahawks, but I don't think it was a fleecing. I think it was just, um, Eagles won the trade, but Seahawks, you know, they got their, their goal accomplished, which was get rid of some money, 
uh, and start to get younger and get some more uh, players, some more looks. Deion Jordan, for example, the Seahawks had a tremendous output last year. Didn't play a ton of snaps, but when he did, pass rush for pass rush was the most productive pass rusher in the NFL last year. Deion Jordan, former third overall pick by the Dolphins, was incredible in somewhat limited attempts last year uh, in terms of getting pressure on the quarterback. Now, I don't know how many sacks he had exactly. He only had four sacks and 18 tackles and a forced fumble, uh, but his production was there. He had a sack in each of the last three weeks of the season, and that's when he started to play. Uh, only played five games last year. Had four sacks, and percentage-wise, pass rush for pass rush was the most productive in the NFL. Four sacks in five games is pretty good. Uh, so maybe the Seahawks are saying, hey, this is our guy. We got Frank Clark. Um, we got some pass rushers. This is a team we don't need Michael Bennett anymore. So the NFL is shaking up to be pretty crazy next year. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Good trade for the Eagles. Uh, I think a decent trade for the Seahawks as well. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.